Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome back to our YouTube channel once again. And it is my hope and prayer that this video is actually going to find you guys in good health. Personally, I am fine. Kisumu is also fantastic. And maybe you could also let me know where you are watching the video from. The county or the country in case you are out of the republic. Ladies and gentlemen, Peter Munya, the former cabinet secretary for agriculture, yesterday announced his return to politics. And that announcement by Peter Munya actually caught Kenya Kwanza by surprise and is going to complicate their 2027 political equation considering the fact that William Ruto is already losing the grip of the mountain. This is what Peter Munya posted yesterday. I will preside over three Azimio rallies on Wednesday, 12 July 2023 in Meru County. Number one, Meru Town in the morning. Number two, Mudara Market afternoon. And number three, Maua Town afternoon. Agenda, number one, unbearable cost of living. Number two, insecurity in the region. Come one, come all. And you can clearly see from the banner itself that it's branded as a meal. The color is blue. There is mama uko nyomo kiangalia hiyo bana vizuri imeandikwa ime inawezekana so clearly peter munya is announcing his return to politics for those who have been following peter munya's after his uh, exit from the cabinet peter munya actually went ahead and announced to the country that he was venturing now into farming that he was taking a break from politics that was in october last year so what do you think motivated peter munya to make this early come back to politics. Hii siasa ya tanga tanga itaharibu nchi ya Kenya. Tukiendelea hivyo nchi itaharibika. Hiyo ni siasa duni hiyo. Siasa ya upuzi. But they have confirmed to us that the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya made a call and uh, complained that uh, some cabinet secretaries and uh, some other senior government officers have been meeting at Lamanda and they gave a specific date of 14 May. And in that meeting, there were plans that were being hatched in that meeting at Lamanda to kill him. And uh, that is why the DCI thought those allegations were serious enough to warrant summoning us to this meeting this morning. Now, for the record, if you ask me, when Ray Lodinga was choosing his running mate, he had several options. One of them was Sabina Chaga, another one was Martha Karua, another one was Peter Munya, and the fourth one was Peter Kenneth. Personally, out of those people, my choice was Peter Munya. Nanajua mnataka nikiwe nichukue kiti fulani. Si unaniombea hiyo. Tuendelee kuomba. Mimi naona Mungu wako nasi, tuwe na wasiwasi. Tuendelee kuomba. Msera ile andinga amekomaa. Amekomaa, miaka imekuwa sawa sawa amekomaa vizuri. Yeye ana fitina na president wetu na president wetu huru kinyata akiwa kinara hapo juu tukishikana pamoja sawa sawa naibu ni munya naibu ni munya na mimi nitakuwa hapo karibu kwaana aenda wapi nitakuwa hapo karibu hapo hapo si unataka niwe karibu hapo naibu ni munya sasa kama nitakuwa karibu hapo na mna gani kama ampigii asibio kura wangapi watazimia apigie utasimia kura hapa ndio because if you look at the at Peter Munya's brand of politics, he's one gentleman who can actually get out there and deliver. I am certain and sure that the votes which Ray Lodinga got in uh, the Kikuyu Nation, he would have still received them. Even if Martha Karua was not on the ballot, those votes were as a result of Uhuru Mugekinyata. So if, for example, Raila and uh, Uhuru had opted for Peter Munya as the running mate, I am certain also that probably the voting pattern in Meru region would have been different. 
But of course they had a different idea and it's debatable. But why do you think Peter Munya is making a comeback into politics? And why is this a headache for Kenya Kwanza? That's exactly what I want us to do in this video. But before you do that, for those who are watching this channel for the first time, please take a second or two, click that subscribe button, so that next time we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And to the subscribers, I want to continue thanking you guys for your continued support. Because without that support, this channel cannot be where it is. And without any further ado, let us dive in and um, you know what is normally here? Coffee. Without any further ado, let us dive in. Why do you think this move by Peter Munya to make a comeback into politics is posing a serious political headache for William Ruto, Rigadi Gashagwa, and their Mount Kenya politics. Number one, if you ask me, is Peter Munya's ability to rally the Meru region. If you look at the voting pattern during the last election, as a new voting pattern, especially in the mountain. I think in Meru is where Azimio got the highest number of MCS. In Meru, they got, I think, two MPs, or are they three? In Meru County. In Meru, Ray Ludinga's votes in certain polling stations were actually more than William Ruto's votes. Let me just confirm to you the number of votes which Ray Ludinga got in Meru and the ones Ruto got in Meru, very briefly. So in Meru, Ray Ludinga actually got 79,800, which is close to 80,000, while William Ruto got 369. But if you went further and dug into the, the forms, clearly, despite the fact that William Ruto actually read the elections, there are certain polling stations in Meru where Raido Dinga actually won. That cannot be said of any other part in the mountain. And remember, Peter Munya was not fully in charge of the campaigns. So if he could deliver this, and, and he was not a running mate, assuming he was the running mate, probably the votes would have been much higher. So the ability of Peter Munya to rally <coughs> Meru to his side is what is giving Kenya Kwanza serious political headache. So that's number one. Number two, why they are worried, is the possibility of Uru Kenyatta's hand in the emergence or re-emergence of Peter Munya. What am I saying? <clears throat> if there is an individual who is giving Kenya Kwanza serious political headache, then it's the retired president Uhuru Muge Kenyatta. So there's the fear in Kenya Kwanza that Uru Kenyatta is actually trying to revive several leaders <coughs> from the mountain. Beginning with the Maina Njenga, Mwangi Wairia, now there's Martha Karua, and now we are also talking of the possibility of Uru Kenyatta reviving Peter Munya. And remember it's coming at a time when Kenya Kwanza is doing badly in the mountain. If Uru Kenyatta were to fully support Peter Munya, for example, <clears throat> to deal with politics of uh, Meru, I am sure that Peter Munya has the ability to disrupt the political formation in Meru County as we speak. The fact of the matter is that during the last election, Peter Munya was a, a cabinet secretary. But as a cabinet secretary, it meant he could not really play politics as was expected. But out of all the cabinet secretaries, it was only Peter Munya who came out publicly. And when Red Odinga named his cabinet, I think Peter Munya was also named as part of that initial cabinet. So in my view, there's a possibility <clears throat> that Uru Kenyatta is trying to reorganize Mount Kenya politics. And even the decision or the move to allow Jubilee Party die could be because of these schemes so that he can identify a new political party and then have that party as the party of choice. So that's number two. Number three, in my view, is also going to add what we call 
perceptional value. You see, normally the world over, after each and every election, there are losers and there are winners. Those who lose, like, like in most, mostly in the, this country, those who lose election, they always tend to take a break and then try leaning towards the winning team. In this matter, several people who were previously in Azimio are finding their way back to Kenya Kwanza. But Peter Munya coming now back means that there is something which is happening. And it's going to add that perceptional value to Raila Odinga that Azimio is still united, it's not losing their support base. Remember, I, I once opined here when Ngilu made a comeback because Ngilu also took a break, then she made a, a comeback and stated that she's still with Raila Odinga. Mwengi Wairia made a comeback. We are witnessing several other former leaders who are actually making a comeback. They were expected to join the Kenya Kwanza, but they're making a comeback to Azimio. And that adds perceptional value to Raila Amolo Odinga. And that perceptional value is good for Raila Odinga and Azimio. If, for example, Peter Munya were to announce today that he's ditching Azimio for Kenya Kwanza, the way, they say, the way Karini Kega has done and Sabina Chege, <clears throat> how do you think it would have impact on Raila Odinga? Let's say, I mean, can, I mean, let's talk of uh, Peter Munya, Charity Ngilu, Peter Kenneth, all those ditching Azimio for Kenya Kwanza. You know, it, it, would, it, it would create a bad image for Azimio. But the fact that they are now coming back again after taking a break, it means there's something. Number four, I'm also sure that the other factor which might have forced Peter Munya back to politics is the emerging rebellion against Kenya Kwanza government in the mountain. The truth of the matter is that the mountain is actually rebelling against Kenya Kwanza. William Ruto made promises to them. Those promises are not coming forth. William Ruto promised to change their situation, not coming forth. All their problems were blamed on Uhuru Kenyatta. Uhuru Kenyatta is no longer there. Those problems have compounded. And because of that, most of them feel disappointed. They feel that they don't own this government because even the hustler narrative is being lost. And lastly, if you ask me, I also tend to think that kind of <clears throat> currently, as we speak, Azimio is gaining ground and is gaining popularity across the entire country and especially in the mountain. So the only thing which is lacking is leadership in the mountain. And that's why I began by saying that probably the biggest fear in Kenya Kwanza is that Peter Munya could be Uru Kenyatta's person. Because in the mountain, as new popularity is uh, rising, we've seen people asking Raila Odinga, we've seen people asking Raila Odinga to go to the, to the mountain that they'll join uh, Mandamanos. You've seen border border guys, people carrying sophorias while doing their border border businesses in the mountain. So basically, as new popularity is skyrocketing in the mountain. And Peter Munya has realized that. And that's why he's now trying to align himself with that popularity. I don't know what to think. That's my take. In case you are watching the channel for the first time, please take a second or two. Click that subscribe button so that next time we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And to the subscribers, I want to continue thanking you guys for your continued support. Because without that support, this channel cannot be where it is. And without any further ado, let me sign off. Bye-bye.